Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. I am brand new when it comes to the world of cloud gaming and remote play and playing using mobile devices with your PlayStation or even your Xbox. So I've been getting some accessories now. I'm going to be starting to take a look at them and stuff because I think this whole cloud gaming thing and remote gaming is a game changer. And I think we're starting to see just how cool it could be with the, you know, the invention of the X Cloud. But also, you got PlayStation Cloud, you got PlayStation Now, you got PlayStation Remote Play. And speaking of which, we're going to take a look at this accessory. This is a mobile phone clamp for your PlayStation 5 um, controller. We're going to take a look at it, unbox it, and use it to check out... Um, some features using remote play on the PlayStation 5. Again, I've never really used it. I've never really took a look at the feature, but a lot of people I know claim that remote play is a good feature for the PS5. So we're going to use this with remote play. We're going to take a look at it. So let's unbox it. I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to check it out if you're interested in. So here we go. We're going to unbox this bad boy. And this is a uh, courtesy of. Um, the company that made this, I believe Evacon is the website, but this is Dobe Mobile Phone Clamp. It has multi-directional angles. It perfectly fits the PlayStation 5 controller and it's compatible with the mobile phone. So I have an iPhone and we're going to use that with this. We're going to connect it to the PlayStation 5 controller. It's all in one piece too. Oh, well, no. <laughs> Part. So this is the clamp. It looks like this is the clamp right here. Uh, similar to the OtterBox one that I have. And then, looks like we have another piece. This is the part that actually holds the, the phone itself. So it kind of has like a little x clamp type of thing. So we're going to figure out what this bad boy here. Like so. Um... I think you just kind of shove it in. If I'm not mistaken. There we go. All right. <laughs> I got that sucker in there. And then I think you just clamp it around your PlayStation 5 controller. Let me get it. So here we go. We got the dual sense. I think you just go right around it. And look at that. That was easy. My uh, OtterBox clamp is not exactly the same, but this one, this one is uh, easier, to, uh, I guess, hook on. Just kind of clamp it, and uh, there you go. It is set up on it. Kind of looks funny, but I think it looks cool. Now let's go ahead, and we'll get the phone. Put the phone on it. Okay, so you just kind of squeeze like that to make room for the phone. So, voila, voila. And there we go. We got our mobile device on it. And then I think just tighten this screw right here. And it'll hold your mobile device in place. Yeah, there we go. The mobile device is being held in place. And you just kind of play it like this. Like this, right here. You hold it, and yeah. So now we're going to take a look at the remote play on the PlayStation 5. Just to briefly take a look at it. I, I'm, I'm still new to it. I think it's a way cool feature. Um, I like it. I dig it. Um, so yeah, here we go. Alright guys, so I got everything connected. I got it set up. You can see this is my PlayStation 5 home screen. I got Fortnite booted up. It's actually really interesting to see this in action. And then I have the... The DualSense controller connected via via Bluetooth, so it's pretty cool. Honestly, you can see all my games, everything like that. Now it doesn't run in full, I guess you know high def that you would see on your TV, but it still looks pretty good for uh, remote play on your phone. Uh, let's go ahead. I guess since we have Fortnite loaded up, um, there's no real I guess easy way to have this set up. Um, to show you guys on the screen, but you can see it works fine enough. The, the clip 
works. It's it's very uh, sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, now, some people might not like the, the screen just being right on top of the controller. They feel that it might feel a little too bulky or whatever. To me, it's okay. Um, there are other options like other controllers like the Razer Kishi and the, the Backbone and stuff like that. But, you know, if you're getting started with cloud gaming and stuff, these clamps aren't that bad of a choice. They are actually kind of quite affordable. They give you everything that you need anyway with your controller. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest. We're using the DualSense with the remote play does not seem as delayed as the xCloud. I played xCloud recently, and it seems a little delayed when you're pushing stuff, but we'll see how it goes with uh, with Fortnite right here. Um, I I'm probably not going to play a full-fledged game, but, but still... This will be cool to actually look and kind of floor. So let's go ahead. Let's destroy some alien eggs. So, yeah, I'm kind of gorilla in it. <laughs> you know, gorilla style with the, um, with the remote game, uh, remote play. I know you're probably not going to see that good of footage with, uh, with this style of, of recording. But you guys get enough of the idea. Um, whether you would want to use this product for for the clamp or whatever works good with remote remote play This is my first time actually testing out Remote play by the way. I've never I've never really have tried it out and it's something that I'm still used to and new to so it's exciting It's like a new uncharted territory of, of gaming and then of course you have PlayStation now and, and other things like that now you can also use a tablet or a PC to remote play off of anything that's uh, compatible with PlayStation remote play will work but uh, the idea with this is to show off this controller accessory and it seems that you know gaming is kind of gearing towards yeah this is this doesn't feel laggy at all gaming is going towards uh, this whole idea of cloud gaming and stuff I know some of you guys don't want to support a, a digital age of gaming I'm still a, an advocate for owning your own physical media and stuff as well but you know it's this would be a nice option if i'm you know somewhere else and i want to play on the go or whatever let's say i have playstation now now i don't know how far uh remote play works like if i can be out of state and access my playstation and play it remotely that would be an interesting um test to try out you know what i mean maybe i can go down the street and see if i'm able to access my playstation or not that would definitely be something to try out. I think I saw somebody play xCloud from Florida when they live in New York. So, not that bad. This does the job. This does exactly what it is made for. So, I think I could definitely um, sink the teeth into using this a little bit more often. And uh, I could play Fortnite on the go if I don't want to use my Nintendo Switch. Now, I will say maybe it does feel a little heavy after a while. Like, maybe you might get a little... Um, I would say uh, fatigued from holding up the controller so that way you, um, I don't know but as an as an option just to try out to have at home maybe it's something that you might want to check out and it does match the controller it has the same I guess off-white so it looks like it's an official sturdy product um, but yeah clamp it on plug it in set up remote play on your PlayStation 5 or your 4 you could use this with the 4 as well and uh, Bluetooth to use your controller and voila you're good to go and you'll be playing in no time you can access your whole library via remote play now I don't have PlayStation now I've thought about signing up to get it um, but between PS Plus and Game Pass already I don't know if I'm gonna go out of my way to get another subscription service or not maybe that's something that I would consider especially if I'm gonna be using this or whatever but honestly I don't travel too much to consider that but you know the cloud gaming stuff is pretty cool for the most part so what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i will see you guys on the next one